this video we're going to create a custom text chunking pipe in Angular, so you can use it in your own projects right after watching this video. Let's get started. Here's the project that I created just for us and for this video. You can download it from the link in the description. After downloading the application, you can run it by typing ngs or ngsir, whatever you prefer. So, ngs and I'll add dash dash o. That means that uh, after building Angular, I will open it in our default uh, web browser here. So, and what can we see here? Uh, there's like some kind of uh, news portal and we have uh, like these uh, posts and everything here. So uh, why do we actually need this text truncate pipe here? Uh, as you can see here, uh, we have a text description or summary here that is a bit longer than expected. And here's going outside this box and here and here, as you can see. So the text truncate pipe here, it was going to help us to have a consistency between uh, these cards or actually across these cards and to have the text uh, as long as we want, uh, not as it comes from, let's say, backend. So uh, let's go back to Visual Studio Code and start creating our pipe. So uh, first of all, here, uh, I'll create a shared folder here as I like it. So share. And actually, we're sharing these pipes across the application. That's the reason why I'm creating the shared folder here. So another folder, call it pipe or actually pipes. So into these pipes, uh, we're going to create uh, our uh, text truncate pipe. But another thing here, uh, we can create the pipes uh, in three different ways. So uh, the first way is just to create a, a single file and let's call it like uh, text truncate pipe. Text truncate.pipe.ts. So this is the first way. And then we have to add everything here, like import pipe, uh, type, pipe transform, etc., etc. here. So that's the first way. Uh, another way, I'll just remove it. So this is just going by foot. But another way is to do it like this. So go here and type ngg as generate and p as pipe and name it. Uh, actually, it will uh, provide a path actually here. So shared, shared and the uh, pipes and uh, after that we'll just uh, call it text truncate text truncate and hit enter now after doing this we can see in our pipes folder that we get that uh, text truncate pipe here and actually that has nothing here but uh, this is just the default and generic way so uh, we actually get this uh, specs file or test file that uh, most developers don't use in the applications and maybe we don't need it as well but uh, i'll just remove this and this and i'm going to show you the third way here uh, of creating these pipes so the third way is going to be to use angular schematics extensions that i use on a daily basis here so with this extension why i actually love this extension i don't have to provide a path to, to something here uh, or any folder that where i'm creating a some components or pipes or services or whatever i just have to right click on it and just select the uh, angular schematics generate file and then we're gonna uh, get this uh, prompt here so we're just uh, selecting pipe here and we're just providing the name that is actually text truncate again text maybe like this doesn't matter and this one is going to run uh, also a command to generate a file here. So uh, we can see here that we don't have a test file here for this uh, pipe and actually we are not using it, but uh, we can use it. It depends on your preferences. So uh, after we created this pipe here, uh, we're going to add some logic to that pipe. Uh, this uh, this truncate pipe is actually uh, like, let's say a basic pipe, but uh, we're just going to create it and uh, let's see how is that working actually in Angular. So uh, we have text truncate pipe that implements pipe transform from uh, Angular core and we have to use it like this to be, uh, to have this uh, pipe uh, structured as expected by Angular. So the first here, uh, first uh, input here is a value that we are uh, providing to this uh, pipe. Actually, that's the something that we get after adding for example after we add something like variable and after we do this the first thing that uh, we're getting into this is actually this something so this is the value okay 
So after adding this value, and in our case, it's going to be string. So string. And then uh, we are going to add something here differently. So the different thing here is that we are going to add another parameter. So it is called, in our case, limit. What does this link do? Uh, limit is a, going to be a number type. And we can also add a default value here, 50. So that means that we want a, a 50 characters here. And after this, I'm going to add another property here. And that property is going to be trail. What does this mean to you? So this means that uh, by default, we will add like three dots after the truncated text. So it should look better. And also, why are we adding this here? You cannot you add it. You don't have to add it. You can avoid it. But uh, the thing is here that we want to provide an option to a user to add uh, their own uh, trail here. So it can be like dots, uh, asterisks, or anything that they want to be, like maybe the text read more or whatever. And now, this is just going to return, uh, not unknown, but the string in our case, string. So we get a string, we get everything here. And now we are just going to return a value here, or actually to check something before returning the value. Okay, return. And now value length. So if the value length is greater than limit, then we're going to return a value and we're going to substring. Substring. That means that we are getting uh, 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 to cut this uh, whole uh, text here. So actually, we're going to cut the value here uh, from zero to from zero to uh, limit. That means uh, in this case to fifty characters. So we are uh, getting the, getting everything from uh, the value from zero to fifty characters here and we're going to add the trail plus trail here and otherwise because we're using a ternary operator here so otherwise we're just going to return the value and that's it so if something is shorter than expected we don't want to touch it and add any uh, trail here so that's it this is a simple pipe now let's implement this pipe in our application so we're going to go to the single post, but actually I don't want to go to the single post. Maybe better. Uh, I'll just add this uh, when I call this post. So as you can see, we have a for loop here and we are looping posts here and getting the single post uh, from the loop. So in instead of uh, post summary, I'll just add a, a pipe. But before that, we have to implement as this pipe is standalone, as you can see here. So that means that this pipe is not included in our module. So this uh, pipe can be used across our whole application. We don't need to implement uh, import it in the specific modules. But what we have actually have to do here is we have to uh, add this component, uh, add this pipe to the co import of components. So in our case, we're going to call it text truncate pipe. Yeah, this one here. Click on it and it will import it automatically. That means that we are able to use this pipe here in our text. Just let me find a component here. So we can use this uh, text truncate pipe here. So summary. And then I'm going to add, oops, I selected something wrong. So here, and I'm going to add this and say text. So we have this app text truncate, but I don't like this app prefix here. So I'm going to add this and into text truncate pipe, I'm just going to remove it here. Okay, text truncate pipe. And here we have a text truncate pipe. And what we said, we want to add some limit. So before anything, we can uh, leave it as this, and we will get a. We are going to get the default value. So going back to the browser, here, and we can see that we have like this uh, small here, uh, this small uh, summary here that is getting the trails and so on and so on. But we want to add something more because this is just like uh, fifty characters, and then we're gonna add our own uh, text. So it is going to be like this. OK, now we're going to say 80 characters, maybe. And also we're going to add a trail, like let's let's test that option. So we're going to add trail like 
read more maybe just to see how does it look like so we can see it uh, and we can see a read more but maybe we can add like this read more okay we can see it like this read more or we can just remove everything from here and we'll get the default value with the dots there so uh this is it when it comes to this text truncate uh, I hope the video was helpful to you and also uh, in the next one we're gonna use another pipes and create another pipes uh, for filtering and uh, changing the dates and something really interesting so uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel and don't miss the future videos thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye